The second video that follows this one shows my attempt at cleaning the center console of this as-is purchase. But first, I could not find a video showing how to remove the lower dash panel. So here it is. Just real quick, there are some people that want to replace this. And if you squeeze this together, I've got a zip tie holding it. Here and here, you can feel up under there, there are metal, they're not springs, they're spring, mater spring material, they're tabs that you have to hold up. And if it's cold, your fingers go numb and it hurts. But with those tabs up, this will slide forward and you'll access some screws from around here from the bottom and you can uh, pull this apart. You don't have to take all this off. What I did was I took out this here. You can imagine how that goes. And there were two screws here and here. And then I lift up on this back there, not knowing what damage I may be doing. They seem to work. Look at all that. More cleaning, but well, that's all right. Little by little. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just can't be so funky. And then if you routinely clean, it'll probably just get cleaner and cleaner and cleaner. First generation Honda. This is the cover. It's down by the driver's feet. That's this side. Passenger's feet over here. It's held in place with three screws. One right there, one right there, and number three right there. See it? Right there. There's no room back here for anything. And these are the power outlets, left and right. I think, I believe these are heated seats. And this is the turbo button. You press that and you go turbo. So again, first generation Honda Ridgeline. This cover is going to go back into place. It's gonna snap into these spots. This is the power outlet to the right, power outlet to the left. I have no heated seats, there's nothing there. That screw hole that I'm pointing to there is accessed here. And We're going to have a screw from this side going into that and the opposite on the other side. I use uh, pineapple scented air fresheners. If you're looking at this and wondering how it comes out after those three screws, know that Honda made this fairly well and you're going to be fighting it a little bit. Meaning you're going to have a firm tug. Watch. So this is it without any screws, and it's in there. So I pulled here and there firmly, and it came out. You know what I've been wondering? What if Rich Cat Ranch Podcast interviewed Oli's Garage? Would Oli declare whether this is a car or a truck? Wait, who is Oli's Garage? And how did he get on the test anyway? <laughs>